It may not be obvious at first glance, but if we look at the sky, something stands out. Every planet in our solar system is named after a Roman god, Mercury, the god of travelers, Venus, the goddess of beauty, Mars, the god of war, and so on. Even Pluto, the smallest planet in our system, was named after the god of the dead. All the planets in the solar system are named after Roman gods, except for Earth. Earth was not a Roman deity. It wasn't a god, nor was it seen as that important. So, where does the name Earth come from? How did our planet get its name? The origin of the name Earth is connected to the understanding of its place in the universe. Before people realized that Earth is a planet in orbit, they believed our planet was the center of the universe. Early humans looked up and saw the stars moving across the sky, and from their position on Earth, it seemed as though the heavens were revolving around the planet. In fact, the word planet comes from ancient Greek and means wanderer or roamer, because our ancestors saw these lights moving across the sky like travelers lost among the stars. But in order to recognize them among so many, each of these wandering lights was given a name. For centuries, no one imagined there was any difference between the planets and the stars. To the naked eye, they looked the same, points of light in the sky. It's true that the planets moved a bit differently, but not enough for anyone to easily notice. As they began to realize that each planet was distinct enough to deserve its own name, they started naming them. Mars appeared with a vibrant, blood-red hue, so they associated it with the Roman god of war. Venus, which appeared each morning in the east to announce the dawn, was named after the goddess of love and beauty. The Romans adopted this custom of looking for their gods among the stars from the ancient Babylonians, who were expert observers of the heavens and avid seekers of divine meaning in the celestial bodies, and adapted it to their own worldview, renaming the ancient stars and constellations to integrate them into their pantheon, ensuring that every corner of the sky reflected the greatness of their gods and heroes leaving their mark on history. But unlike those divine specks of light in the sky they were discovering, Earth was different. Even though it was considered the center of the universe at the time, they didn't understand whether it was a star or a planet. It simply was. And while our neighboring planets bear the names of powerful gods, our own planet is simply called Earth. Not the name of a god, but the name of that which holds us up, so we can gaze at the sky. The name of our planet originates in the same era as ancient Rome, when Latin was the language that unified a people deeply connected to agriculture and working the land. The earth was known as terra. The Romans used this term not only to describe the ground beneath their feet, but also the soil they cultivated with their own hands, establishing an intimate bond between the people and their environment through this word. What's fascinating is that Terra has not disappeared in modern times. It remains alive in our language, hidden in words like extraterrestrial. So to uncover and understand the origin of our planet's name, we have to imagine something. Those people who, night after night, gazed up at the sky, standing there, necks stretched, their eyes lost among the stars. But while they dreamed of the heavens and all they could see, there was something they never left behind, the solid ground beneath their feet. And it was precisely from there, from the earth that held them up, that the name Earth was born. But there's something even more curious if we think about it for a moment. Ironically, even though we call our planet Earth, most of its surface isn't land. In fact, about 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. We live, more than on a planet of Earth, on a vast ocean with just a few patches of land, 
It's paradoxical, isn't it? We call it Earth, yet from space, it appears as a bright, deep blue, a planet that perhaps should have been called water. Thank you for watching until the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. It really helps us keep creating more content like this. Also, on our website, you'll find the most stunning images of the universe, printed in original quality as fine art prints. Plus, international shipping is completely free. I've left the link for you in the description. See you in the next video.